This is Wamda Studio and we are joined by Mr. Fahim Qureshi who is the CEO of GCS which is a technology company. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Could you first tell us a little bit about what it means to be a technology company and what do you do? Yeah, GCS Private Limited is a group of companies and uh, we have two vertical of market high-end security surveillance solutions and uh, number two alternative energy products that's what we are working on it. How are these two things interconnected? Uh, nowadays if you evaluate the Pakistan market I mean you will find two issues one is security right and other one is energy crisis so we are trying to come back again against these two things. In security surveillance uh, we build a complete uh, city-wide surveillance which include command center, network operation center, WiMAX network and hundreds of cameras running under that network where you can control a whole city from a single room uh, which is utilized by the uh, Pakistan uh, intelligence and air force and police department and the municipal services too. So how did you uh, envision this? How did this um, idea become reality? Uh, I mean idea became reality. Uh, we started our operation in Pakistan 2007 way invasion when we were evaluating all the markets uh, sitting back in the US in Florida. So that's what uh, our after entering thinking we analyzed about Pakistan. These are the two things going to be a huge demand and that's the reason we have been being very very successful. Challenges did you encounter when you came to Pakistan to set up a business? Because you know there's a particular work ethic and a particular working environment that is synonymous with the US or with Pakistan. What was it like when you came here and what were the challenges that you encountered? It's an excellent question. Um, most important thing we encounter, uh, we find HR is not trained here. Uh, I mean that was one of the uh, big hurdle we've been through and most of the ground realities are totally, totally different which we face abroad such as electricity issues, we do not have any electricity to abroad and uh, so these are the things we work really hard and uh, we try to introduce a, a new system which is called on a turnkey basis, ownership basis so there is no finger pointing. And regarding the alternative energy, uh, uh, right now the way everybody noted that the way the electricity cost is going up and up. And uh, before we have to, we were using a bulb in our homes, 100 watt bulbs. Then the saver comes. The same saver technology we are embedding in AC, in fan, in wherever you embedded this technology in those gadgets, it's going to be save the electricity up to the 80 percent. Okay, so this is something that sounds to me that makes your business different from others. Very true. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about this particular product of yours? I mean, how, is it very different from anything else in the market? Uh, it, is, it, it, it is a pioneer thing. Uh, for example, we already launched one fan, uh, okay? Uh, our regular fan in our houses. Uh, fan is an item that every house uses. Yeah. Every house has at least five and six fan. And a single fan consumes 85 watts to 90 watts. The fan we are uh, in the final stages consume only 17 watts. So you save wow. the 80% electricity and including the fan and our technology prices are around only 6,000 rupees so and you are saving your electricity 80% electricity bill but the same technology then we have another model not only is going to be save your electricity 80% it uh, also produces electricity and if there is no electricity is available it run without electricity for 20 uh, for two to four hours what about for the next couple of years? Do you have a plan or a vision to see your company grow in a certain direction? No company can run without a plan. I mean, recently, all world network, which is led by Harvard people, uh, our company has been cho chosen the Pakistan top 25 fastest growing company. And here in this one, we've been invited by all world network. And uh, they already see the potential in the country, in our country. And there's and no shortage of demand. No shortage of demand. I mean, these are the basics uh, rules of thumbs. Uh, I mean, you have to have a focus, deliver, honest, and teamwork. Team achieve, not individuals. I mean, people make a, a big mistake. They think they can do themselves everything. For example, here you are doing interview. You have cameraman. You have IT crew. It's a whole teamwork is yeah. going to be do this production. Same thing, same philosophy apply every year. Team wins, not individual. That's what we strongly believe in. You have to have a focus. So, sir, what would you give as advice to young entrepreneurs? I mean, the rule of thumb is that education. No matter, do not think about the results okay go to the good school if you can afford okay and get the real education I'm not talking about the memorization in Urdu we call Ratta most of the graduate we do have here they may be graduate in the A grade or A plus plus but uh, if you go and ask them some question then they say, uh. so they have to have acquire the real knowledge 
that's a success key, uh, to the key, key key to the success and secondly uh, first get the knowledge then start doing some experience as internally go somewhere build the confidence and start with the little businesses that's what we done i mean we start very little first we have one company now we have four company is a group of companies have the right idea or honesty and dedication okay thank you so much for thank being you. with us thank, thank you, you and good luck thank you.